we use our wrists when we're hitting short shots? A bunker shot, a chip shot, a running shot. How do we sort of contemplate improving our short game? Now, how often do we say this? Our oh, short game is the number one thing that helps us lower our scores. Short game is the most important part of the game. It gets us out of trouble. Be honest with me now, put a percentage in the comments. How often do you practice your short game? I mean, if we're below 50%, we really need to look at our game and get this right. So three parts of this video, three different shots. This is how you use your wrists, easy wrist moves for short game. Let's start off with the easiest shot that I see. The back of the left wrist move, this one. That one where if a player wants the back flag, we really want to have that ball a little bit more running, quite fired in there, and really guarantee a lower ball flight. So if you think about it this way, I've spoken so much about this on the channel, and just think about wrists right now. If my wrists work this way, with a normal grip, I would add a fair amount of loft, wouldn't I? I'd also probably get in a situation where I might thin this. If I move the wrist this way, I would keep loft on or take loft off. Now in this instance, with some forward shuffling, we want to be taking loft off and getting this ball to run out. That's the shot I want you to think about. And as we go through this video, you'll be like, actually, well, all I need is three shots around the green. Right, so I'm gonna play some pitching wedge. If you come to the face on perspective, just watch me now as on how I'm sort of moving my wrists. I'm feeling this one with the ball back in my stance, logo of my glove to target. Simple, simple move, lower ball flight. Have a watch of this one. Lower, more running shot. And again, if you come to the down the line perspective, all I'm trying to feel here is with the ball back in my stance, I'm organizing this this, this. And you can quite see as I'm doing this, I'm quite exaggerating this sort of finishing position. There we go. Okay, so if we think of one of our first moves of how we get those wrists to move to lower that ball flight, we know from long game lessons, that's this. Okay, let's grab two balls. Before we go in the bunker, we've got some stuff to talk about up here. So when we're on the golf course, I want that first one to be sort of the go-to shot in your brain where you think, I'm in a tough scenario, get that ball running, get it going towards the flag because high tariff shots are high tariff for a reason and we don't have to call on them all the time. Now, as we're going through this video, don't forget we have a PDF guide attached. Link to all that is down below and don't forget to have the website as well. Subscribe to, I mean, I'm asking you to do a lot of things there. I apologize everybody. So have a look at this shot. How would you play this shot? Now, First thing I would do on the golf course is just take an actual walk up to where I want to land this golf ball. Now this is about wrist, but we're talking full picture here. I want to land this golf ball sort of somewhere around just on that green. I don't think you can be too cute with this. I'd always overestimate and get a good strike, then underestimate and get a good strike, because the last thing you want to be doing is chipping again. Okay, so how do we move our wrists on this shot? So this is a little tricks. I will use my most lofted club, number one. I'll also open that face slightly. So if you're looking over my shoulder here, you can see before I put this club and before I grip this golf club, I'm slightly opening that face, just ever so slightly. And then taking my grip. Now, what I'd be feeling through the motion now, instead of taking loft off, I'm feeling as though I'm pointing my glove logo to the sky. Now what that is doing, that is allowing me to put some speed in, but keep loft or add loft to the golf ball. Now I'm looking for a more high tariff shot. I'm looking for a flop shot. I'm looking for a parachute shot. So we have to understand that we want to feel like we've got sort of a semi shallow angle of attack. It's a little bit downwards, but we're adding loft. So that feeling works like this. A little bit open in the face and really feel as though you're pointing your loft back at you or 
logo of your glove to the sky. It wouldn't make much sense me opening the face and then working it this way. Okay, enough talking Alex. Let's play shot number two, see if we can pull it off. So open the face, take our grip. I have the ball sort of in the middle of my stance. I prefer it there. Now that's a super, super tough shot and you can easily get that strike not quite as good as you want to. So you can really start to see, we're only sort of missing one shot in our armory now, and that's a bunker shot. This is how you want to use your wrists in a bunker shot that allow you to hit it hard and allow you to get it splashed out and you will always get out the bunker every single time if you use this method. We're talking bunker shot now and I've not talked about bunker shot on the channel for a while but I think it's one of them shots where most club golfers find it really, really hard to get out and save shots. What I mean by save shots is actually we should look at this as a good area where we can be aggressive and get the ball out and guarantee a strike. Whereas out of the thicker stuff, it's a little bit more of a lottery. Might sound strange to some people that, but we're gonna tell you exactly how you can use your wrists. So if you are following along, don't forget you can re-watch parts of this and just think, actually that shot was more for me or this shot's more for me, whatever sort of you feel you need to add to your game. Also, like, why don't more golf clubs have short game areas? Like, I think it really adds to how good a golf club is, having a short game area like this. You don't even have to have a lot of space, it could be a sh smaller, could be a quarter of the size of this, but just having one bunker and a chipping area, definitely something a golf club's got to invest in, in my opinion. Okay, so, bunker shots. Now the first important thing to hit this bunker shot and how we use our wrists is, we open the face, again you're gonna see one over my shoulder now, me opening that face and taking a grip. Now because my sort of wrist is now sat more on top of this golf club relative to the face, we can add a lot more speed like this. So I want you to feel that a bunker shot, we start a little bit cupped, we keep it cupped, and it works under this way. Under, it doesn't work and roll over. If you watch me right here, if I hold that golf club up here, if I roll that wrist over, this is why a lot of us find it hard to hit it and it not go too far. I can put loads of speed into this, but if I work my wrist under, I'm adding speed in the correct way. Speed is our friend in the bunker. We don't have enough speed, we don't get the ball out. This is what I mean, so watch this here. I'm gonna lay the club down. We couldn't lay it on the sand in a competition. I'm gonna work that feeling of wrist working under. Under. So now I can add loads of speed and not fear it traveling way too far. It's really gonna highlight how you can improve your short game. So adding to that bunker setup, and I think this is really important, and we'll just cover this off. I know this is all about wrists in this video, but I think it's really important because it's a full picture here. Ball position, I'd encourage you to write this down on the checklist. We'll put it in the PDF for you. Bunk ball position, a club head inside your left heel. Wide stance, weight low, left, and that weight just stays there. Hands go low, release that under. This is the feeling. This is what you're looking for to add speed in the correct direction. So I'm exaggerating that there. I'm adding so much speed to prove to you that that ball's not gonna go that far. By all means, you don't have to do that. But adding some speed in the correct way by using our wrist in the correct situation from the first shot to the last shot is the way you're actually gonna lower your scores, is the way you're actually gonna improve your golf. Hit that thumbs up button if you agree with me because we need to wake up to this. We need to improve how we use these in the short game. Super important. Don't forget, if you did enjoy the video, smash that subscribe button. And go on, share it with a golf mate. I'd really appreciate it if you could share it with one or two golf mates that are gonna really help maybe your playing partner in whatever competition you're playing with at your club. I'd appreciate it, and I know they would too. So thanks for watching.